the YouTubers. Um, it's Saturday the 4th of June and I've come down the plot. Um, it is absolutely boiling out here now. Um, and it's it's quite late really. Um, it's about 7 o'clock-ish, I think. I think I just heard, heard the uh, church bells go. Um, I'm going to be knitting the strawberries today. Um, what else have I got to do? If I've got some time, I'll put in some suede and I'll put in some beetroot. Um, so yeah, definitely a change of the last week. Last week we had um, last three winds. It's been cloudy, it's been raining, it's windy. It, it's felt like winter again, but now it's actually starting to feel like summer. Hurrah! Anyway, I'll get on with what I've got to do. Well, that's one bit of strawberries covered. Ooh. Now I'm knackered, but I've still got two more to do, so I'll get on with them. Actually, first thing to do. And first thing I'm going to do before I get on with the uh, other strawberries. And that's to have a cuppa. There you go. Nice little cup I got for Christmas off a dear friend of mine, <laughs> Queen of the Garden. She got that one right. I don't know whether you can see that. Um, I can't even see it on the screen. But there's a nice little micro light doing a fly past. Get quite a few of these on uh, the Sunshine Coast here in Essex. Usually there's about seven or eight of them all going along, but he's a lone one today. Uh, oh well, let's get on with my jobs. Right, that's the uh, strawberry beds. Well, two of the strawberry beds covered now. Um, gonna do a tour in a little while. But first off, I'm going to sort my little fairy garden out. It's got so many weeds in it, if the rosebush bush in there needs a bit of a trim. So I'll get on with that and I'll show you in a bit. I'll do the tour now, seeing as though it's starting to get dark now. Well, it is coming up for nine o'clock. So, um, shed greenhouse. Still haven't got round to putting the beetroots or the swedes out. Hopefully, fingers crossed, either tomorrow or Monday. They will go out because um, his nibs wants to set up the aquaponics in here for the tomatoes. So these are um, sunflowers doing absolutely amazingly. They are starting, the roots are starting to come through the bottom. So I'll either put them out somewhere or put them into a larger pot until we can get somewhere sorted for them. There's my Aquilegia, they're the dark, dark ones that Jim from Jim's allotment sent me and they've come up nicely. I won't actually get any flower off of them until next year. But I have them and ha ha ha, they've grown! Yay! Um, can they can fill pumpkins there. They're going to be sorted out next week as well. Right, I should go into the greenhouse first. Get that done. <coughs> Excuse me, I'm still feeling a little bit rough. I am slowly getting better. Um, in here, this kale will be going out next week. That's all grown lovely. Never tried kale, so it's going to be a new one for us. Um, the yak on there. The uh, radishes there. His nibsies radishes. This is his second lot, and they're starting to ball up quite nice. It looks like something's been eating them. Um, tomatoes here. These ones in the small pots are going to be for the aquaponics. The bigger ones um, are going to be in the greenhouse. More tomatoes here, greenhouse ones. One cucumber at the back there. Another cucumber there, I've put up, potted on one of my basil plants, make it a bit bigger. 
Um, I don't know if you remember um, I said that some of my aubergine plants have been eaten by slugs. Well, I left them and it started growing again. So uh, that's a good result. There's a sunflower plant there. When I came down, no word of a lie, that was still encased. And it's popped like that already in place of an hour, two hours. So yay, more sunflowers. Um, another cucumber there. The only ones that actually survived um, are Lediva. None of the market more survived at all. But we had three Lediva survive, so that's all well and good. Tomatoes here, looking a bit bedraggled. I've just given everything in here a water, so. Leeks, they're going to be going out next week. I've just got to prepare the bed for them. Hehe, <laughs> pumpkin. Um, that's the uh, challenge one that's going to be going in hopefully next week as well. Um, my peppers coming along well and so is the nettle and so for some reason there's grass and nettles in my peppers. I've used brand new compost so I don't know what's happening there. Two melon plants there I'm going to be putting on soon. Some more tomatoes, the two in the taller pots, which are these two on the end, are called White Wonder. And yes, they will be white. Um, so bring there, I've got to put these spring onions out soon. I've got to pick, prick out these uh, Pak Choi, because they're, they're taking over the basil, literally. And the coriander doesn't quite like it either, so I'll be doing them tomorrow. Some more red barren onions up there. Right, let's go outside. I'll just stick some myself with a stick. There we go. And kick the can while I'm at it. These are the cauliflowers. Um, looks like something's eaten that one there. I don't know what. They're pretty well together. Let's see if I can get them closer. I doubt I can. There we go. They're even closer together now, so. Um, cauliflower's in that netting now. Cabbages in this one. We're going great guns, look. Doing really well. Jerusalem artichoke there. It's coming up lovely plus weeds. I don't know what's happened to that one in there. Um, there is a Jerusalem artichoke in there, but it hasn't come up. Right. And this way. Cabbages in the net along here. Doing well. Uh, these lettuces are starting to make a comeback. They did look really horrible, but they're starting to come back now. <coughs> Across to my parsnip bed. There we go. They're all doing really, really well. It's the first time I tried them in the fish tank, so. And there's one strawberry bed netted. All done. Um. Tomatoes out here looking really good. Got our first set of flowers on. Uh, Run of beans got a little bit of a battering from the wind the other day. And they look like they're getting munched by slugs. I'll give them a helping hand. Uh, Jim from Jim's Allotment says, if you look down at the cane, like that, a runner bean will go anti-clockwise up. All other beans seem to go clockwise. So, 
Not sure how true that is, but it looks like it's, it is true with some of the ones that have found the way. Just lean it up against there and try and get it started off a little bit. Um, so there's one that's going naturally up. Not much trying to. So anyway, that's them. Got my peas here. Now I did sow some more, but it doesn't look like they've come up at all. Oh, tell a lie. Right there, they're starting to come up. So I need to put that fence that side. They're starting to come up there. There's some there. Which is good. I think there's even a little one right there. Is it? And there, yay! So they're all doing really well. Um, some courgettes I put out the other day. Looking at them a little bit nibbled. The peas this side. Um, there's the other bed I managed to net. I've got to get some string and close this hole up. This one right here. I'll do that in a second before it gets too dark. But there you go. It's a one bed netted. Won't talk about the herb bed. Still needs a weed. <coughs> Here's the other strawberry bed I've got a net. Um, no idea on how I'm going to do it. Here's the... Netting that we've got, the green netting we've got, is, the, is um, only 1.5 metres. So yeah, I'll work it out. <laughs> Just the berries on here, fattening up quite nice. There we go. Gonna have a bumper crop of them this year. Um, this is uh, Bush's third year, I think. So, black currants are slowly going, slowly getting bigger. Um, gooseberries looking great. So much new foliage on here, it's hard to actually see where the berries are. But look at that, bindweed, gardener's nightmare, apart from mare's tail, no matter what you do, you just can never get rid of it, you can sieve all your soil, you can dig up all your soil, it just doesn't matter because it just keeps bloody coming back. <sighs> Comfort free, we cut some of this down the other day, as you can see. We kept some for the bees. Red currants. <laughs> We're starting to get sick of red currants. We have absolutely massive amounts every single year. Um blueberries not looking too healthy at the moment. It's looking good, but I've got a lot of dead bits I need to cut out, which I shall do, along with 101 other jobs I've got. Um, <coughs> this side, I've got a butternut squash right there, and it's got a nice big area to spread out in. Still have no idea what's up with the plum trees. I did a bit of research online and I'm thinking it's bacterial canker. <sighs> I just have no idea what to do. Do I cut it out? Do I cut, cut I don't want to cut the whole trees down. 
but every single plum tree we've got at this end has got it. I just don't know what it is. Anyway, there's the ochre and some spare strawberry plants we've got. Only one ochre hasn't come up, but trust me, got plenty. I can soon put on some more. Um, they'll be okay in them pots until the uh, until the potatoes come out. Here's the ponds. Planting's not working at the moment because uh, the sun's gone in and it's getting rather late. But tadpoles are getting big. It's got some really small ones, some huge ones. There's a huge one going along right there. Right, there's a yak on. I still haven't got round to putting it into the bigger pot. I have got a bigger pot. I'll show you that in a minute. Just waiting for us to get some more compost. I'm going to need at least three bags to fill that big boy in. You'll see the same way. Um, this is our comfrey and nettle tea. There it is. Give that a bit of a stir up. It's looking a bit like wheat tea at the moment. Oh, it smells. Looking a bit like wheat tea at the moment, but not smelling like wheat tea. <coughs> oh, God. There we go. Give that a bit of a stir. There we go. It's in one of uh, his Nibs's old brewing, brewing buckets. It's got a little tap at the bottom of that. So it's easy enough to drain. Um, here's our potatoes. Going along well. Need to earth that one up and that one. There's a Jerusalem artichoke and a strawberry. <laughs> Definitely um, interested in trying these Jerusalem artichokes. I think um, there's some more. Um, Allotment Diary Dan's doing artichokes for the first time this year as well, so how are yours doing Dan? Anyway, here's ours. More potatoes there. Potatoes there. Massive potatoes there. <coughs> and small ones there. <laughs> this is a lot big difference for some reason. Yeah. Oh well. And here, this bed here, that's all covered up, is going to be for the um, sweet corn. That'll be going in next week. Gonna weed all this lot. Don't know really where all this has come from, but this is the brimshaw lot's doing really well. Finally, um, the onions, these are not heat treated sets, and um, every single one of them has bolted. We've taken the flower spike off as soon as we've seen it. Well, I don't know what I'm going to do with this lot. Oh well, right, and here's the fairy garden. We go all we did. The uh, rose bush tidied up. These aren't supposed to be on this way around, but I thought it'd be a bit fun because the high winds decided to blow its connecting part off. So, um, oh, hold on, it did have a connector part that makes it sit like that, but. It blew off and snapped. So just put it in there like that. There's a little fairy umbrella then. Um, Alpine strawberries are starting to flower. Um, this little plant, I can't remember the name of it. Um, 
that started to flower as well. The hens and chicks there. Got two lots. Got the red lot there. And red and green there. Um, <coughs> all right. Yeah, not too bad. All right, here's the uh, sweet candle carrots growing away nicely. Um, as I said, I'm still going to have to thin them out. I'll have to do that soon. Got the resistor fly carrots here. They're doing really well. Got the parsnips there. I'm going to have to get in there and weed them. Now the weeds have got bigger, I can actually get hold of them. Um, and then we've got our rhubarb. I took some of this the other week. You can see little gaps here and there. But it's all coming through. Lavender. Little lavender hedge there. I've got some extra plants I can actually put in that gap. Um, calendula and lilies. Still no sign of lily beetle. There's some more lilies there at Quilidia. Step round everything. The at Quilidia there. One of it's come to an end now. Um, just going to take off the growing tips. The seed heads. You never know, that might come into flower again. There's a double one there. Take off these seed heads. There you go, it's definitely uh, definitely finished, look. Give it a little knock and it all goes flying. Um, sweet peas. They're slowly getting there. Hopefully they'll uh, decide to cling on to that wine soon put that one like that time it looks like it's slowly coming back look there go. that's that one there and there's that one silver queen silver queen looks to be doing really well right um that's about it. It's getting a bit late now. I've watered everything. I've um, done almost everything that I came down to do. It's getting a little dark, so I'm going to make a move home soon. I'm going to finish my nice cup of coffee there. Tidy up. And then make my way home. <coughs> Just want to thank everybody for subscribing and watching. Um, please like this video or any of the videos that I've done. Comment and subscribe. Um, let's see if I can zoom in on the old church. Where is it? Anyway, <laughs> that's all for this week. Uh, hopefully I'll get to do another one next week. So, we'll see you on the next episode and see you soon. Mm -hmm.